Hi, my name is Neil Foster. I'm Senior Business Development Manager at Optex Europe Limited, and I cover the UK and Ireland. Today, we're going to be taking a look at transforming monitored alarm systems into advanced visual verification solutions and how the Optex bridge can assist with this. Before we start, a little bit of information with regards to Optex. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, Optex are a sensing technology manufacturer with over 40 years experience in the industry. We manufacture everything from security sensors through to automated door sensors, factory automation sensors, machine vision, and many more various sensors. We actually manufacture over 3 million sensors a year. We're a global company and we have our headquarters in Japan. But we have regional coverage in all areas and we have full technical and sales support. We also work with a network of professional security installers and a network of professional security channel distribution partners. With this product, we've partnered up with Checked, who are an American computer and CCTV monitoring market. They've seen the strengths and weaknesses of existing products that are available, have identified some niche areas within the market, and have then worked with us to develop the Optex bridge, which is the hardware which we supply, and then the Checked portal, which is the visual verification cloud-based solution. So with most monitored alarm systems at this moment in time, the big issue with them is the fact that they're blind. There's no visual verification associated with them. So when an alarm activation occurs, an operator doesn't know whether that intruder alarm activation is a genuine breaking attempt, or whether there happens to be an animal on site, or a box falling off a shelf in a warehouse, or a multitude of other reasons that there could be a false alarm activation on site. With regard to personal attack alarm or a holdup device, we don't know whether that's going to be a genuine duress situation on site or whether that could be an accidental trigger from a cleaner accidentally pressing the button or somebody who's unfamiliar with the site accidentally caused an alarm event. Currently, some people are trying to do visual verification. This tends to be from the alarm receiving center trying to dial into existing CCTV products that are on site. Or with some alarm handling platforms, they can actually take in a video stream from an MVR or DVR. The problem that we tend to see with this is it's a slow process. Often an operator has to try and work with two different platforms and two different protocols. This can lead to a slow response time, potentially missed visual verification, as an operator always tends to be playing catch up to try and get up to speed with the latest activation that's coming in and the latest video footage. The checked portal and the Optex bridge does away with this. So with the Optex Intelligent Visual Monitoring Solution, the Optex Bridge, it's called the bridge because it bridges the gap between any intrusion detection device with any camera stream. So when there's an alarm activation occurs on site, we push a notification through to the bridge. It will then bring in the camera stream to give the operator the visual verification of that alarm activation. The video stream is pushed through our gated access called the cloud, and then it then goes through to the alarm receiving center. And that video verification stream is available for an operator to view within five seconds. If an alarm activation occurs where an operator can see someone on site, we have the facility where an operator can push an SMS message out to an end user's mobile phone. That end user can then view the exact same video stream as the operated operator with the pre-recorded and live video feed, and then can provide feedback to the operator on whether they need to disregard or action the event that's happened. The Optex Bridge is an intelligent visual monitoring solution. How it works is by being a plug and play device. Plug and play enables you to plug the Optex Bridge into a broadband provider. It will then, within about two minutes, connect up to the cloud and form a connection for transmitting the data and the video images through. The benefit of this is there's no port forwarding that's required. There's also no email configuration that's required to set up that connection. Simply plug the bridge in, leave it to do its job, and it'll form that connection. When it forms that connection, it does it using the secure socket layer. So it communicates over 256 encryption. So the bridge will connect up to the cloud. It'll then form a secure tunnel that it's going to transmit all that encrypted data through. The third benefit of the bridge is the fact that everything is fully supervised. So the connection from the cloud through to the bridge and then through to the cameras are all supervised. If any of those devices go offline for any reason, we can know about it and we can deliver that message through to the installer portal and through to the alarm receiving center to let them know there's a device offline. When it comes to connecting devices, 
the bridge will connect to any OnViv compatible camera. We can also connect to any RTSP stream. So with an OnViv camera, we can communicate directly with the IP camera. The RTSP stream comes in useful when we connect up to an MVR or DVR, and perhaps taking a camera stream in back from an HD over Quark's device, we can connect to the NVR, we can use that substream from that device, and we can push that through to the alarm receiving center for visual verification. With detection devices, we can connect to any relay contact device that could be open or closed, which is typically any intrusion detection device or a multitude of other detection devices. With the bridge, we also have the benefit of being able to do a audio challenge on site. So we can do a remote talk down using the Google text-to-speech service. Another benefit of the Optex bridge is the ability to fire relay outputs onto site. So if you need to trigger lights, trigger sounders, open gates, open doors, or we even have customers using the bridge to visually verify an intruder alarm activation, and then use the relay to fire a fogging device on site to dispatch that fog. The bridge is suitable for a multitude of applications. It can be used for intruder alarm activations. It can be used for PA or hold-up device activations. And it's ideal for giving instant visual verification in those scenarios. The bridge can also be used for any other detection device. And we have customers using it for flood detection, lifts and elevators, forced door and access controls. Any device that can provide a relay contact output the bridge will be able to give visual verification for. The bridge is ideal for upgrading legacy equipment on site. It might be that you have an existing intruder alarm system installed, which is monitored, and then a locally monitored CCTV system. If that site requires an upgrade or is looking for enhanced security, we can utilize the bridge to bring in the camera stream from that locally monitored CCTV system, push it through to the alarm receiving center, to enhance the security of the monitored intruder alarm system. The bridge is also used on new applications. So that could be a new application of installing a visually verified intruder alarm system, or likewise, it can be used for externally monitored systems as well with external detection and perimeter detection on sites. The bridge will work as a scalable solution. So we do a four channel and a 12 channel bridge. If we think of those as just network nodes, we can drop those onto a network anywhere around a site, and it gives us the ability to take alarm inputs into the device and also then fire relay outputs from the device or be able to give audio challenges from that area as well. The Optex bridge is a unique offering for so many applications, it can be used in residential applications, commercial applications, or to be deployed on rural applications. It works well with fixed line broadbands, and can also be used with 3G, 4G mobile broadband solutions as well. It's secure, cost effective, and it's advanced visual monitoring. The video clip is going to be presented in the cloud for an operator to view within five seconds. We have a unique feature, which is a privacy mode, which allows an end user to enable and disable the video feed through to the alarm receiving center. So that's ideal for residential applications where they maybe don't want the video footage being transmitted off site unless it has to be or higher security applications. We've also integrated the Optex bridge and checked portal with many of the alarm receiving center platforms, which include Sentinel, Mastermind, Bold, Dice, and many, many more throughout the world. Another benefit of the Optex bridge is the simplified arm and disarming feature. This can either be done in conjunction with an intruder alarm system. So when the intruder alarm system is armed, it would arm the bridge and then send notifications on. If it was disarmed, it would then disarm the bridge. The other option that we can do is also use app-based arm and disarm. That enables an end user to have an app on their mobile phone and simply tap arm to arm the system and disarm to disarm the system. The app can also be used to view cameras, and also be used to get push notifications of alarm events. We'll now show you a short demonstration video to show how the Optex bridge integrates with Sentinel. So we're just gonna take a look at another video now and see another way in which the uh, check portal can assist an operator handle an alarm activation within Sentinel. So there's an alarm activation just come in 
our operator can go ahead and click on that to accept it and once again we'll open up the sentinel record and it'll also open up the checked portal which will provide the video verification of what's just caused this alarm activation so as that opens up we get the pre-recorded images on the right hand side we get the live images on the left hand side now on this one it's an external application so we've got a physical detector we've got the detection overlay that's marked on this pre-recorded image now what we can do is we can click the hide info icon that will remove that detection overlay so the operator can see exactly what's happening on this site once again we can use the verification so we drag in the screen mirror for that end user's mobile phone we can push a text message out to them to get verification on what we want to do with this person that's been seen on site so click on the verification we'll get the confirmation within the checked portal that that's been sent out we can close the checked portal down we can also then go ahead and suspend this call once again within the uh, sentinel record now as we suspend it you'll see that that'll go into a suspended alarm queue going back to the end user's mobile phone as the end user clicks on that to, uh, to uh, view the video footage of what's caused that alarm activation click on the link in the text message and then tap on the screen and that will give him the pre-recorded images of what's just caused the alarm activation so and this is really useful for an operator to be able to get the feedback from the end user we've seen somebody on site we don't know whether they should be on site or not on site the only person that's going to know that is the end user so the end user can say disregard this event or can say call the police for this event now once again we can slide that screen to the left and we can see the live images of what's happening on that site at the bottom of the screen on the mobile phone you'll see that there's one person checking this event if somebody else logs in to check it you'll see their name, name pop up as well so we can now go ahead we'll disregard this event as we disregard the event confirmation tap on that screen you'll see that that alarm has now disappeared from the suspended alarm queue so that's been cancelled out within sentinel along with using the optex bridge for the professional arc monitored solution the optex bridge can also be used for a professional self-monitored solution enabling an end user to monitor the Optex bridge and the detection and cameras via their mobile phone app. We're all familiar with the growing DIY sector. More and more manufacturers are doing DIY products for self-install by home end users. These tend to be unreliable because they tend to rely on video motion detection or analytics on the camera and are prone to false alarms. They tend to have less secure protocols and there's no professional advice. Combining the Optex bridge with your CCTV cameras and the Optex range of external detection, it makes a very reliable, professional, self-monitored installation. It's very secure, and it also allows for the professional installer to also maintain the system. Combining the Dahua range of professional cameras, along with the Optex bridge and the Optex external detection, allows you to convert DIY CCTV users to professional CCTV and users, and allows installers to have a more cost-effective, reliable solution whilst earning a recurring revenue. The Optex bridge comes with the checked installer portal, which allows installers to set up their sites. There's several parts of this checked portal that have been made to make it easy for installers to install and deploy the Optex bridge. We have auto discovery for any OnViv IP video stream. For alarm receiving centers, the installer would upload the sitemap and images. He would overlay on there the camera and detection positions, and that would then make the interactive sitemap from the ARC's point of view. We can then choose the connection for the ARC that we want to put the monitoring through to. We can also add in the emergency contact details for the key holders that will get the SMS message in the event of the alarm receiving center needing to push out a notification. We've got no port forwarding with the bridge. The bridge can be used with a sub IP address. So if your camera network's working on a different address than the broadband, that's not an issue. We support the talk down and this is where we load in the talk down messages which are the audio broadcast that'll be made out at site and we can also set up the relay contact outputs and what those relay contacts are going to do also within the installer portal this is where you have a list of your installed sites you have the locations of the sites the locations of the sensors and cameras we have the health check so we have a dashboard that will give you a list of all the devices that are online and any devices that may be offline. We also have the feature of you being able to book in scheduled maintenance appointments for engineers to be able to carry out maintenance on the solution. 
So that was a brief overview of the Optex bridge, showing it how it can be used in connection with monitored alarm systems to transform them into advanced visual verification solutions, and also how the Optex bridge can be used for a professional self-monitored solutions for end users, allowing professional installers to compete against the DIY marketplace. If you'd like any more information on the Optex bridge, please feel free to contact me on the contact details shown on the screen. And I'll be more than happy to arrange a demonstration of the product for you in more details.